Hello to everybody. First of all, I want to thank you for joining our webinar. I'm glad to see you all interested in new Teltonic Telematics solution. I am Arunas Kuginis, and today I will present new video solution of ADAS. In other words, Advanced Driver Assistance System. We continue to introduce new video solution to the market because the need of video telematics is growing. We already have Teltonica dual cam solution for evidence of accidents. ADAS is a totally different solution. With ADAS, it's possible to avoid accidents at all, protect vehicle and cargo from accidents damage, and the driver for injuries. So let's go to webinar agenda. Today, we'll talk uh, about accidents on the roads and what reasons are. I will present ADA solution, what are the benefits and features. Also, I will tell you about the market opportunities and needs. Let's start with the cost of crash. What do you think, how much is the cost of one small accident on the road? Maybe 1,000, maybe 10,000 euro. Maybe if we will add a truck, a bigger vehicle into an accident, the cost will grow up to maybe 50,000. And what if the casualties will be bigger? For example, cargo damage, injuries, or fatalities. Definitely the cost will grow from 100,000 euro. And I want to show a statistical information regarding crash cost per country in European Union per year. Evaluation consists of cost of fatal crashes, serious injury crashes, slight injury crashes, and property damage crashes. Also want to mention that estimation for the grand total cost of crashes for 28 European Union members comes to 267 billion. And let's take a look at statistical information of some countries. First will be Lithuania. And the total cost of all crashes are 1 billion euro. Poland, 12 billion euro. UK, 23 billion. Spain, 29. Italy, 39. And Germany, 51 billion. Now, let's compare the collision numbers in Europe per year. You will see the volumes of collision by countries. So, let's see from the Lithuania, it's more than 3,000. Further in Poland, 31. Um, in UK, about 160. Spain, 102. And Italy, 172. And in Germany, it's over 300,000. So, let's move on. There are many different causes of collisions and front collision is the most common one. So here are the reason of front collision. Over speeding, it's a type of aggressive driving behavior, the most common and troubling one. Speeding causes a greater potential for loss of vehicle control, increased stopping distance, crash severity and fuel consumption. Tailgating. It's a defined by driving too close to another vehicle in front, thus considerably increasing the chances of rear and end collision. The tailgating driver can be either conscious or unconscious of his high-risk driving. Distracted driving is characterized as a main activity that diverts attention from driving a vehicle. Smartphone texting or the most, is the most alarming and prevailing distraction behind the wheel. It creates tremendous potential for death and injuries on roads. So let's move on to lane departures crashes. The, the, uh, part, uh, the among of deadless collision types. Globally, about 60% of road accident fatalities happen because of an intentional uh, lane departure. And here are the main reasons of lane departure. Drowsy driving is uh, the dangerous combination of driving and sleepless or fatigue. Here to add drowsy driving is a major concern for many professional drivers worldwide. And here's why. It makes a person less able to pay, to pay attention to the road, slows down the reaction time if he has to brake or steer suddenly affects the ability to make adequate and timely decision behind the wheel. 
talking on the phone, browsing or texting while driving leads driver to shift focus on something else and take their eyes off the road. No doubt the increased risk of traffic accidents here is obvious. Sadly, eating and drinking is a pretty common habit too. It might have a pricey and even tragic consequences for road users and drivers. Consider this, while, uh, while eating, a driver's reaction is lower by 44%, while drinking by 22%. And let's move on um, to, and I'm gonna show you a short video of lane departure. Now you can see what happens when the truck changing lanes unsafe. Of course, uh, there is a small accident, but uh, it could be also with the big consequences as well. A car hitting pedestrian can be one of the most tra traumatic types of car accidents anyone, anyone could ever experience. With many pedestrians walking the sidewalks every day, uh, these types of accidents do unfortunately happen. And here are some of the reasons these accidents happen. Drivers texting or uh, talking to mobile phones not only put pedestrians at risk, but other drivers as well. Drivers who operate their vehicles while drunk or under the influence of drugs are dangerous to everyone on the road, especially pedestrians. Impaired drivers driving through crosswalks against the traffic lights or making left turns directly into a group of pedestrians can result in pedestrian accidents. Recklessness by both drivers and pedestrians can be considered one of the primary causes of pedestrian accidents. A driver who does not look for pedestrians or who does not obey traffic law at crosswalks can be a danger to pedestrians. And artillery roads can represent a danger to pedestrians. Drivers have to deal with other drivers changing lanes, speeding, making unsafe lane changes, or tailgating. For the most part, drivers are not making a point of looking out for pedestrians or even focusing on traffic signals. I presented possible threats on the roads, which uh, consist of drivers, passengers, and pedestrians' injuries. Possible consequences of vehicle and cargo damage also ruined reputation for company for not delivering cargo. So let's go to the solution part. I want to introduce the new Teltonic solution, ADAS. It consists of the ADAS camera, which is mounted on the front of the vehicle with three M dual tape and connected ADAS camera detect all kinds of events in front and send all the data to server and shows the detected events to display in front of the driver. The second component of this solution is Teltonic Telematics FMC 125. The ADAS camera and FMC 125 are connected via a REST-232 interface and integration is done with all FMX 125 devices with FMC, FMU, FMM and FMB devices. Now let's go to the functionality part. ADAS camera detects vehicles, pedestrians, bicycles, motorcycles, and let's see ADAS functionality in details. Forward collision warning provides the driver with warning in critical situation when the collision is impending. Lane departure warning, provides warning for safe driving. It alerts the driver of sound and visual warning and helps to regain direction if the vehicle departs the lanes. Pedestrian collision warning, provides the driver with the warning in critical situation when there is a pedestrian existing in front of the vehicle's pathway. Front vehicle start alarm, notifies the driver if um, in the front vehicle starts to move forward from zero speed, it means a completed stop status, and the vehicle is not moving within two seconds. Forward proximity warning notifies the driver when there is a vehicle existing in the detection range. And speed limiting recognition, recognize speed limit signs and provides warning for overspeeding. 
So let's go to the benefits of ADA solution. One of the main benefits is getting events from ADA's camera to server. Like example, if the driver on the road is tailgating, the forward collision warning will appear and generated event will be sent to the server via FMC 125. So all the events from ADAS will be sent to the server and the fleet owner will have the possibility to analyze them. Another important functionality is driver notification. When a driver will trespass the lane without a turn signal, he will get alert of sound and with visual warning on display, which is um, located on the vehicle panel. As well, ADAS has digital video recorder. It records video and events data into microSD card. In standard uh, configuration, we have uh, 16 gigabytes and uh, up to four hours of recorded video, or it could be upgraded up to 128 gigabytes with up to 30 hours of recorded video and events data. So let's go and see what kind of uh, notification appear for the driver. You can see on display that driver can get different notifications. In fact, he will get all of them if the event occurs. And uh, I will mention the main ones. Uh, one of the main is um, forward collision warning, which will show how many seconds is for possible collision. With a lane departure warning, driver will get notification when he will trespass left or right lane. With pedestrian collision warning, driver can get notification when pedestrians crossing the road. Also with speed limiting recognition, driver will be informed if he is over speeding. So let's go to ADAS solutions. Here you can see two different devices, ADAS on the left and ADAS Plus on the right. Do you see a difference? Yes, actually there is a difference. First of all, they have different displays. ADAS on the left has a simple LED display and ADAS Plus on the right has LCD display. And there is additional functional difference. ADAS Plus on the right has functionality of speed limiting recognition and provide warnings of the of the over speeding on LCD display and ADAS don't. If you remember, I mentioned all the functionalities. So ADAS and ADAS Plus have them all except ADAS Plus provides warning for over speeding on LCD display. So now let's go to an installation part. So about the installation. To install ADAS, um, there is no need to have any additional certificate. Every integrator can proceed installation process and you can find all the inf information in our wiki page. Camera location and vehicle measurement can affect ADAS performance. It's very important to put accurate data for the best performance. The measurement details consist of camera height, camera center, camera uh, to wheel, uh, vehicle white and camera to bumper. So let's go further. We also provide to our clients the database with the CAN bus connecting schemes. And for all kinds of vehicles, uh, for vehicle signals, turn signals, brake and speed. This leads to a much faster installation. And the list of vehicles is constantly updated. Also, the installation may still be completed using analog connection instead of CAN if the, if the vehicle has no CAN bus or there is no CAN scheme available. And now let's go to the configuration part. Here you can see Teltonico configurator and um, to configure it, we need to go to RS232 and RS485 um, uh, functionality. We need to enable RS232 over here and we need to enable ADAS camera. Additionally, what we need to, uh, to do, we need to go to ADAS functionality over here. 
and there are uh, all the parameters that you can receive to the server you need to mark them uh, which one you need to get and when the job is done don't forget to save it so let's go back to the presentation i talked about the solutions and um, now i'd like to review what the market uh, opportunities are the integration of cameras to enable various video-based solution in commercial vehicle environments is one of the most apparent trends in the fleet telematics sector today bergen side estimates that the installed base of active video telematics system in north america will reach up to in 2021 we're going to reach uh, 2.4 million units and in 2025 it's going to reach up to 4.4 million units in north america in europe the installed base of active video telematic system will reach almost 1 million euro, uh, units in um, 2021 and in 2025 uh, it's going to be almost uh, 1.8 million so you see that the market demand is growing for video solution and let's take a look what kind of customers can use these solutions. We're providing to the market, not just an ADAS camera, but we give a solution which consists of the ADAS camera and the tracker FMC 125. ADAS solution can be used widely. Regarding use case group, it can be assigned to advanced and professional tracking, security and insurance, and of course, special transport. This solution is perfect for international logistics and delivery services, for long trip and fast deliveries. It is a need to avoid possible accidents. For special vehicles in construction, it's a useful to have ADAS to detect pedestrians while going in or out from the construction areas. To protect people from injuries, it's a must to have such solution in public transportation and gives additional safety for carrying valuable cargo. For your convenience, you can find all information about ADAS and ADAS Plus solution on our webpage. Also, we prepared a wiki page. Uh, as well, you can find use cases with ADAS functionalities of uh, forward collision warning and lane departure warning, which are the most needed on the road. If you want to try the features of ADAS, you can order the sample actually right now. If you're working with Teltonic and Telematics already, you can contact directly uh, our salesperson. If not, just uh, write an email to info at teltonica.lt with the subject of ADAS and uh, our sales team members will contact you in one business day. Uh, also, uh, the next uh, very important thing is to test it. So for smooth testing, you just need to add new ADAS LEDs and you can find it as well on the big page. And additionally, for fast ADAS testing, we prepared functionality on Tavel Web. You will be able to see it uh, on map, all ADAS events track, and will be able to generate reports of ADAS events. I'm gonna show you how it looks like. Here it is. Now you can see the track on the map with the all detected events. There are some lane departure events and also others. So that's it. Uh, thank you very much for listening to um, our webinar. First of all, I hope it was uh, very interesting and useful for you. And uh, if you're eager to um, test uh, our ADA solution, so please uh, write to, to us or contact our salesperson uh, to get a sample.